I'm Eloise, I'm 16, I'm a student of the Sacred Heart High School and I went this year for one month to the US for an exchange and more precisely in Omaha, Nebraska. To begin with, when I postured for an exchange, well, I wanted to discover a new country, obviously, but I really wanted to know like how people from the opposite side of the globe lived, what is their daily life like, and all all this prejudice about Americans real? Like, I wanted to discover this country by myself and make my own opinion about it. And of course, I wanted to meet new people, get to know them, create relationships with them and be able to live like them during my trip. In the US, I was first surprised to see how Americans are the most active people I've ever met. Like, and that they move all the time as soon as they have a little time. Here's an example. One week before my departure, the mother of my exchange student, so Bridget, just told me that we were supposed to have like six days before the back to school and just enjoy the Americans activities. And like maybe two or three days before my departure, she just asked me, oh, Eloise, do you want to visit my first dollar in DC, Washington DC? And like for five days, and of course I wanted to visit the capital, so I accepted and we went for five days before the back to school to Washington DC and that was crazy. Like that was so quick but so fun. And here's some memories from this amazing trip. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a Then it was time to school. In the US, the back to school is a very important moment of the year and above all the most important moment when we are in the last year of high school, so the senior year. So the first day of back to school was essentially made up of big speeches by directors and some assignment given to students to like boost them and motivate them to work. The next two weeks I went through a lot of things. The school days weren't as long as in France because we ended classes at 3 p.m. But after we had to do all the American things that Bridget wanted me to try so that I could live my experience to the fullest, the days went by super fast, but I was always happier and happier to learn more about them. Like for example, when I learned to be the perfect fan by watching an American football game, to learn that in Nebraska, it's very commonplace to go and spend like your weekend at the lake at your family or friend's house doing acti activities like golf or jet ski and relaxing. Also learning that Netflix and chill moments in the evening are very important every day and that you always have a tons of popcorn and candy with it to keep us busy. Well, in short, live like a real American. That's what I learned thanks to my host family. Last but not least, I met great people throughout my stay abroad who all wanted to participate in one way or another to my experience and my discovery of their culture, even if for most of them I will probably not see them again. I don't know how to thank them and all the people who contributed to this experience, which was probably the most beautiful of my life. I never thought to be able to live for a month in this country that made me dream so much. And during this trip, I was able to learn from others, but also to learn about myself, my limits and like all the possibilities available to us when we cross our border to explore the unknown.